In this example, we're going to integrate sine of 2x times the cosine of 2x. Let's go ahead and work through this solution. So there's actually various ways to do this problem. You can use a trig identity right from the beginning. Um, you can make a u substitution, uh, and there's various u substitutions you can make. Let's try to think here. If we let u be equal to 2x, that's going to be okay, but then we're still going to have sine and cosine. So that's not maybe the best approach. If we let u be sine, the derivative is going to involve the cosine. That's pretty good. If we let u be cosine, the derivative is going to involve a negative sign. That's also pretty good, but it introduces a negative. So I think that maybe the easiest way is just let u be equal to sine 2x and go from there. Let's try it. So taking the derivative here, we have du equals. This derivative requires a chain rule. The derivative of sine is cosine, so you take the derivative of the outside, which is the sine function, so cosine of 2x, leave the inside untouched, and then times the derivative of the inside. Your inside function is 2x, its derivative is 2, and then we have dx. This is really nice because we have a cosine 2x and a dx in the problem, and we have that here now. However, there's a 2 here, and there's not a 2 in our problem. So the goal is to make this look like what's up here. So basically, we have to get rid of this 2, right? Because there's no 2 up there. So boom, that goes away. So we have du over 2, which we can write as 1 half du. And that's equal to cosine of 2x dx. Boom, really nice. So cosine 2x dx is right here. Let's make our substitution. I think I can actually just squeeze it in right here. So the integral, we have sine of 2x. So this whole thing is u. And then we're left with cosine 2x dx. Well, what's that? Well, it's 1 half du. So this is just 1 half du. Pretty amazing <laughs> how it cleaned up, right? So, so sine 2x is just u. And then cosine 2x dx, well, that's just 1 half du. All right, now we are pro. We can integrate this using the power rule. It basically says this is 1 half. You add 1 to the exponent, so that's going to be u squared over 2. And then plus c, which is our constant of integration. So this is going to be equal to, I'm just going to come over here and give myself some more room. 2 times 2 is 4, so this is 1 fourth. And then u was the sine function, so it's really sine 2x quantity squared, like that, plus c. Right? You want to go back to the original variable of integration, which was x, right? There's x's here. Right, there's x's, so we go back to sine. Um, you can write this a different way. You can write this as 1 fourth sine squared of 2x and then plus our constant of integration capital C. And again, other ways to do this problem, um, you can let u be cosine and you can also use uh, a trig identity.